Welcome to the stoichiometric analysis of an antacid lab. This is part A, reaction stoichiometry. This video is being shown at two times speed. First, a watch glass is put on the balance. Then approximately two grams of sodium bicarbonate is measured. The exact mass of sodium bicarbonate is measured and recorded. Approximately 500 milliliters of 0.5 molar acetic acid is measured in a graduated cylinder. Then it is poured into a beaker. The watch glass containing the sodium bicarbonate is placed on top. After the balance has been zeroed, the entire experimental setup is placed on the balance and the mass measured and recorded. A scoop is used to carefully and slowly add the sodium bicarbonate to the beaker. What is happening in the reaction? What gas do you think is being produced? To ensure that all the sodium bicarbonate reacts with the acetic acid, the beaker is swirled. It is important that all of the sodium bicarbonate reacts with acetic acid. When no more bubbles form, the chemical reaction is finished. The experimental setup is once again placed on the balance and the mass is measured. This is part B, analysis of an antacid. Alk seltzer tablets contain three active ingredients, anhydrous citric acid, aspirin, and sodium bicarbonate. Similar to part A, one tablet of alka seltzer is added to the top of the watch glass Approximately 50 milliliters of 0.5 molar acetic acid is measured in a graduated cylinder and then poured into a beaker. The watch glass is placed on top and after zeroing the balance, the entire apparatus is weighed and the mass measured and recorded. The antacid tablet is carefully added to the beaker of acid and a chemical reaction occurs. What gas do you think is forming? What is inside those bubbles? One observation we can make is that the alka seltzer tablet reacts for a longer amount of time than the pure sodium bicarbonate. To ensure that all the alka seltzer tablet reacts with the acetic acid, the beaker is swirled.
When no more bubbles form, the chemical reaction is complete. The balance is zeroed, and the experimental setup is once again put on the balance. The final mass is measured and recorded.